Hey everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Steve and I am a drone pilot and yes, this is not a drone. However, most drone pilots learn how to fly RC helicopters and RC planes and I taught myself how to fly RC planes last year. Now, since I'm a drone pilot, every time I fly a drone, everybody that sees me flying a drone always says, hey, you know that drone you're flying? How high can you make it go and how far can you make it go? But when I fly RC planes, everybody asks, how fast do they go? And I don't have a clue. So I'm gonna take this plane, put a GPS on top fly it level no dives nothing so it just stays level at full throttle and we'll see how fast it goes now before we get out to the field let me tell you a little bit about this plane it's from fms i've got my fms hat on and this is called the bay hawk b-a-e hawk this is a stunning looking plane if you take this to the field everybody's going to run over to you because it is stunning looking now let me tell you a little bit about the controls on this plane so for a motor you've got a brushless motor it's an 80 millimeter 12 bladed edf fan in the back 100 amp esc up front and it does run on a 6s lipo battery you know 4000 or higher just for the speed test i'm going to run it on a 4050 c lipo battery now it does come in a very large box and it's super simple to assemble and i'm going to show you that in this video yes this is a speed test video and i'm going to show you the box as well and i'm going to show you me assembling it really fast so that's going to come later in this video what i love about the plane is it has blinky lights all over it so you've got a light in the front that looks pretty cool when it's coming at you you have a light blinking on top and you have a light blinking on the bottom in the back so you've got white red white in the front on this wing over here it's a red light and on that wing over there it's a green light also I don't know if I could show you here parts come off like I can take off the right here the fuel tank the little fins in the rear I can just slide them on and off nothing there's really no glue uh, that you have to apply to this thing now there are tiny little parts that you can glue like this little antenna up here and there's one on the bottom but you don't have to glue those in you can just shove them in if you want another thing to mention would be the surface areas on this plane so you have your elevator in the back up down up down it's very responsive you have your rudder very responsive in the back you have your ailerons on the wing tips very responsive and you also have your retracts there we go gear going down i don't know if you can see it in the video gear and up. gear going back up really nice retracts and of course you have your motor i won't motor put it too much because it'll go flying off this little stand now in the video you're about to see of the flight i was in kind of a hurry when i brought this out to the field and when i put the battery in the 6s battery it got tangled up in all the little cables that come off the servos and i accidentally yanked out the servo for the flaps so in this flight there are no flaps <laughs> so most people fly with flaps to take off because you can take off in a short amount of space and when you land you slow the plane down with flaps there's no flaps in this flight but we still do a speed test anyways anyways let's go to the field where you have jedi steve and i and uh taking this for a flight here we go Okay, Steve, I don't know if you realize this. Yes. This is a speed test flight. Oh, so okay. a speed test flight means that you fly level. At and full I'll have to go fast. And fast. Full throttle. Do not dive. Please do not dive. Okay. Keep it flying at a certain height in a straight line. And that will give us the speed because yeah. I'm going to place a GPS on this baby. Do you like flying fast? Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> and your flight uh, only has to be, you know, maybe two minutes long. Okay. That's it. Very okay. short. All right, here we Fast, go. Short, sweet. Okay. You got it. All right, so GPS is on top here. We're all set with that. It's just held on with double-sided tape. One thing I'm going to do is on the bottom. Steve, you can just hang on to yep. part of this plane a little bit. So on the yep. bottom here, we have a fuel pod right here. I'm going to pull that off and put a camera there. So the weight of this will be replaced with uh, the weight of a camera. Here we go. I'm going to plug it in tight so there's no way of this battery falling out yes. or coming disconnected in flight. There it is. That's super tight in there. This does have the reflex system in it. You can see it bopping around with all the surface areas. Reflex is if you're flying, I'll just stand back so Steve's in the picture. Steve doesn't need it, but you can use it if you want. Reflex gives you stability on a windy day, and it also gives you stability if you want to turn and talk to people and not have your plane flip over because it will stay level. So Steve, you're probably going to use just the reflex just, for AS3X yeah, type thing. Correct, yeah. yeah. So we got up and down. There we go. We got right, we got left. And for turning, we got right, we got left. Steve's going to have a successful flight. Oh, let's see if the motor works. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's got some power. Next thing I have to do is turn on this GPS. So I use my software, turn it on. It's going to come to life. We're at 12 satellites, so I'm going to go to flying. 
There we are. I'm going to hit start. Now it's recording all the movements of the GPS and we're all set to go. All right. I got to get down here and start the camera. Okay, so this is great. This is the first time I get somebody else to fly a plane of mine and I get to hold the camera so I can film it. All right, Steve, I'm going to go stand over out of the shadows here and uh, we're all set. There you go. You can go anytime. Anytime. Let's see how long it takes to get down the runway. He's up. Woohoo. Okay, so get it to a height you like. Gear up. Full speed. So here's Steve doing his flights. I don't know if my little camera is getting it, but my hat cam should get it. Staying at the same height. And full speed. Yeah, sounds great. Okay, Steve, bring it on down for landing. Going over with the gear down. Here comes Steve down. Oh, he's got it, he's got it. Glide above the grass and beautiful landing. There we go. There we go, well done, Steve. So what do you think the speed was, Steve, before uh, we check it? Uh, okay, in kilometers an hour, I'd say it was going probably, uh, I'm guessing 90. 90? 90 kilometers an hour. Okay, let me check. So here we go, the GPS is still going. I got my GoPro hat on as well, and I'm gonna hit read. Here we go, the moment of truth. Yes. 170 kilometers per hour. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when the planes are large, I find they don't look very fast in the sky, but they move. And it says you were up at 177 meters, which is about right, you know, from what we could see. I have one more battery. We're going to do it again. Want to do it again? <laughs> we'll do a second one. All right. Put another battery, reset the GPS, reset the camera. This is flight number two. We're going to just check the reading on the GPS. Just keep going full blast, level flight. Okay, Steve, bring her on down. Ooh, that was faster landing. Yeah. There we go. What's your second guess? Well, it's not 90. <laughs> not 90. Uh, I'll say 140. All right, here we go. Here we go, Steve. Read. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna film it. Oh my frick, what the hell? And now we're at 180? <laughs> so this is... Uh, Fast model then. It's it's fast. All right. Well, I'm impressed. So uh, is the camera on me? Can you see me? Yes. yes. So next thing I want to show you is when I receive this, it comes in a box. I'm going to show you the box and I'm going to show you how simple it is to put this together. You can put this together like in 10 or 15 minutes. It's really easy. So uh, check this out. This is the box the Bayhawk comes in and you'll notice that everything is very well packaged. Now items in the box includes the instruction manual, the main wings, and they are fully assembled with retracts, flaps, and ailerons. Even the horizontal stabilizer is already fully assembled. The giant main fuselage has pretty much everything already installed and assembled and ready to go. Other items in the box include the fuel tank pod, rear tail fins, a USB-C cable in case you want to program the reflex system, and finally a bag of hardware and a few extra bits. 
And now I'll show you how to quickly assemble the FMS Bayhawk. First take the horizontal stabilizer, pull out the two wires, connect those two wires to the two wires that come out of the main fuselage, slide the horizontal stabilizer into place, and then secure it with the two screws. Next take the main wing set, look at all the wires coming out of the top, push in the black box into the wing, take the loose wires, pass them through the hole in the fuselage, push the wing into place, and secure it with the four screws. Next slide the external fuel pod onto the bottom of the plane. The tail fins can also be slid into place. And that's it, you've assembled the FMS Bayhawk. All right, so there you have it. Uh, I guess this thing is a really fast plane. Does it, it fly beautifully? Oh, it does fly beautifully. It yeah. took off like straight as an arrow. Uh, and that's without flaps, nothing, yeah, no flaps, exactly. nothing. Exactly. And um, you landed it without flaps yes, twice. <laughs> that's right, that's right. I mean, mind you, we got a very nice day, very little wind and uh, good conditions, but very predictable, very neutral. Uh, lovely plane, lovely plane to fly. Yeah, great. Yep. All right, guys, uh, so links to this plane are below. Go check it out, and you also know how fast it is, and you've seen how it goes together and what comes in the box, so I've shown you everything. And, uh, yeah, have a nice day flying. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you in a future video with many more reviews. Until then, I say bye.